Uh, good afternoon, Gaffer. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'll start by asking for your reflections on the performance against Huddersfield. I thought it was an excellent performance. You know, collectively the team are very good. I think the, uh, the result had been coming. You know, I think performances over recent weeks have been good as well. So it was very pleasing that we were clinical on the night and, um, you know, it was good to get back to winning ways. Would you say that's potentially one of the best on the ball performances we've seen in your time here so far? I think over the course of 90 minutes, for sure, yeah. I think we've spoke about um, getting that consistency, you know, throughout the season. And, um, you know, there's certainly been times throughout the season up to now that we have been really good with the ball, you know, in different games. But, you know, over the course of 90 minutes, I thought, yeah, it was, it was good. Did Tuesday prove as well just how dangerous a fully fit Sariki Dembele can be in the Championship? I think so, but I think it also shows that, you know, if we keep working and, and doing the right things, you know, I thought collectively the whole team were excellent on Tuesday. I thought Bakuna in that wide area was very good. Koji, you know, is getting fitter and stronger as the games go by. Stansfield up top as well was always a threat in behind. You know, the two midfield boys in there, you know, did what was needed. They looked after the middle of the pitch. And, and again, the back four were, were very good, very strong. So. Listen, Dems obviously takes all the limelight because of his finishes and of course it's about putting the ball in the net but as a, as a group I thought we were very good. You mentioned Stansfield there, playing. you switched it up a bit by playing him as more of a number nine. Is that something we're likely to see more often or will he continue to be versatile? Yeah, I think it's just getting the right team selections for the right games. You know, it's about who's fit, who's available. Um, you know, Scott's work rate has been outstanding throughout this season. He hasn't scored as many goals as what he'd like. We know that, but you know, it's important that that whoever plays are working and they're competitive and um, and looking after each other. And I think you know the the, the selection that we've made uh, throughout the season, we've we've had that. You know. Uh, Manny Longello came in and he was outstanding as well. Was he the perfect example of the fact that anybody in this squad can step up and do a really good job? Yeah, it's all about the squad. You know, I've said from day one, it's about the squad. It's not about any individual. It's about this group of players, this new group of players that we've got now, you know, gelling and understanding each other as well. As soon as we get a full squad and we can work every day, on, uh, in training on, on different things, then obviously we'll get huge benefits from that. But uh, up to now, you know, the, the players have been used, have been very good. I've been very pleased with their attitude and, and very pleased with the way we've been progressing nicely. How proud of, uh, excuse me, how proud are you of the way the lads stuck together as well after what was a tough September? Yeah, I've been proud of this group, you know, players ever since I've come in, you, you know, the, the, the players from last year, I was very proud of their efforts and I'm very proud of the, the players this year, you know, their, their attitudes, their, their desire, they, they, the way they perform in training every day is different class, you know, and, and it's just about growing and, and as I say, you know, the, the, the more that we can keep fit and the more we can keep this group together, then the better we'll be. Uh, in terms of injury news, are there any new updates on the lads currently out? No, no new, in, no, um, no, uh, no news on that. The, the, I'm trying to think um, about um, Ethan. Ethan. Ethan is hopefully maybe 10, 10 to 15 days away, which will be a massive boost to get him back in the squad. Tyler is still struggling a little bit with his calf, so he's going to be still be three or four weeks away. Uh, George Hall's pushing his, um, his work up every day as well. So I'm hoping after the international break, we'll get two or three players back, which will be a huge boost. But tomorrow will be your third game in seven days as well. I know the players will be properly up for it, but how are they feeling physically? Yeah, they're feeling fine. You know, it's, it's important that I've said from day one since I've come here that there's a no excuse culture. You know, this is our third game in six days coming up and um, we know it's going to be a, a difficult game against an excellent team, but one that we'll be ready for and the, the boys who ever selected will be um, ready to go. Yeah, looking at West Brom as well, they've been in quite good form recently um, and like Huddersfield, they'll come into the game uh, five games unbeaten. What are you expecting to see from them? Yeah, listen, West Brom are uh, an excellent team. They've got loads of experienced championship players, very strong squad of players. So we know it's going to be a difficult game, but you know we'll have our game plan and uh, we've had a couple of good meetings over the last couple of days. Training's been good and the lads are full of confidence and, and can't wait for the game. And last win, it was a, a huge win at Saint. Uh, last year, it was a huge win uh, over the Baggies uh, at home at Saint Andrews as well. Um, during what was a really difficult time for the club, how much progress has been made since then? I think you can see off the field and, and on the field. You know the club's going in the right direction. It's, 
it's been um, I think when we were when we played West Brom last last time at home I think there was going to be protests and there was still a bit of a cloud over the club as well but the way the club's gone forward with the new ownership and um, obviously the players coming in and and everything that's going on around the city you know it's it, there's a real buzz about the place so the atmosphere is completely different it'll be a completely different game as well on Friday night but again you know I think everyone connected with Birmingham is very proud to be connected with the football club now again and um, you know we're making giant steps forward. A lot of the lads won't have played in a derby for Blues before um, but speaking to Dembele on Tuesday you know they seem just as up for it as the senior pros are. Yeah, listen, the whole group can't wait for the game. You know, it's about the squad and, um, you know, we might have to, to look at the squad and, and rotate the, the, the players a little bit for the game, possibly. So everyone will be involved and everyone can't wait to get going. And finally, as well, part of the Lower Tilton will be uh, opening tomorrow night and it will be potentially the highest attendance for quite a long time. How great is it to be a step closer to having the stadium fully open again? It's brilliant. It's a, it's a really exciting period, as I've spoke about already. You know, this football club's on the rise. It's, it's, it's going forward and, and to get some fans at the bottom of the Tilton, you know, on Friday will be extremely exciting and, and one we're all looking forward to seeing. Thank you very much, Gaffer. Thank you.